Good afternoon, everybody. It's Bev, and I'm back um, for today's live in crafting brands all together. So, what I'm going to be doing today, because I was asked to, um, <clears throat> is I'm going to be doing some techniques using mirror blocks. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody asked about me doing these so that's absolutely fine i'm more than happy to because i love them um so yeah we're gonna have a go with mirror blocks now what i do need to do i have to say i have got to spend some time in here this afternoon and have a bit of a tidy up because this is my fourth well this room's fourth live of the week and everything's just getting a bit messy but that's okay okay so <clears throat> hello tracy i'm just going to keep up with the comments so give us a thumbs up or a comment if you're watching and i will try and keep an eye on them um and respond okay so mirror blocks okay now like i've just said um i'm demoing the mirror blocks on here today because someone asked now the mirror blocks themselves are something we did because we were asked okay um and in, you know so that's that's great it means you know we can we can respond hello charmaine oh god i was supposed to tell you when i was free you were gonna give me a ring yeah we'll do that later um because and, and they're a really wicked thing that you can do a couple of different techniques with um so what they're actually for sorry we're a little bit on the squiff there aren't we skew if oh well um let's see if i can straighten you up a little no, that's even worse. I will stay with that. Okay. Um, so what the mirror blocks were actually designed for was to do techniques like this. Okay. Because this is one stamp. We have then mirrored so that you can have it facing both ways. Um, so what it means is if you do have birds or you have... Um, you know, <clears throat> for example, we've got some dinosaurs as well that are facing one way. It means you can face them together as well. So you can get really nice mirror effects. Um, so we've got some mirror blocks. I, I, I've got to be honest. I do try when I'm demoing in the crafting brands all together, not to do a big brand push because it's all supposed to be all of us together. But as these are what I've, I've been asked for today, I'm, I am just going to quickly show you. So we've got our mirror blocks and we've got four different sizes. Oh, Abs is watching. Hi, Abs. Um, so you've got Deacon. Yes, it was you that asked. I'm sorry, my love. Um, so you've got the four sizes on here and I am actually going to have to do some bigger ones um, because the stamps I want to do and they're not big enough. Okay. So the thing when you are using your mirror blocks is you are best with a really wet ink okay now i have personally found the best thing for that is the versifying clay or verse clay they are really really good because they're really wet and juicy pigment inks um so i do find they are probably the best ones to use however um my verse clay has vanished i have absolutely no idea where now i'm pretty convinced it is somewhere in the abyss of my little craft room but um that's the extent of my knowledge luckily luckily i did get me a new versifying um in the last week or so so it is really really wet so i'm hoping that is going to be enough for now okay so to show you the mirror blocks for what they were their original purpose i'm going to use this little bird here and i'm going to use the small rectangle mirror block from the set there is a small circle one that this would probably fit on as well but i'm just gonna use this one um i use this one a lot it's, it's very very cool hi gail hi frida hi shell hey mother right so i'm just gonna put that on my super skinny slim now i'm gonna work quite quickly because you need to work quite quickly okay um so i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do and then i'm going to do it okay so we're going to ink up our bird first with our versifying like i say i honestly think a really wet pigment ink is better but i can't find my verse clear anyway so ink that up with my versifying i'm then going to stamp that bird onto the mirror block okay and then i'm going to stamp with my mirror block onto my card 
All right. And then without re-inking that, I'm going to stamp the matching one. Okay. So we're going to ink the bird. Lots of ink. Lots and lots and lots and lots of ink. Okay. And then stamp the mirror block. Stamp the card. Now, because when you put your mirror block on it's a second generation stamp if you think about it okay what i do is i don't re-ink this one because then that's a second generation stamp too and you have the same sort of color tone if you re-ink it this one's always going to be darker because it's a first generation stamp and that one is always going to be a second generation stamp okay it's cool isn't it it is really, really cool. Shell, sorry, my darling. So a mirror block, so this is what I've been asked to show you today. They are these big square, but well, that one's a rectangle, rectangle. They are just blocks, stamping stamp blocks. They're blocks of stamp, basically. And what we have done, and they're so you can create a mirror image with stamps you have that are only facing one way okay so it means you can push them you can mirror them up okay if you want to it's, it's just one of those things so that's what we've done with these so i'm just going to clean that off because you know me i'm not a massive stamp cleaner um i just sort of give them a quick wipe off but you want your mirror box to be clean every time you use it okay so i'm just going to give that a quick clean off okay and then we'll do another one okay so what else have I got on my birds in my oh so I've got another bird here so we'll use this one put that on there so this one's slightly bigger but as you can see it still fits on the mirror block so that's absolutely fine now because this is a taller one I'm going to turn my card that way because it will just be easier to stamp. Alrighty, so we're going to ink our stamp. Again, lots of ink. Even when you are using a, a pigment ink, you know, I still put quite a lot on. <clears throat> Onto your mirror block. onto the card pushing as much as you can because you want as much ink to come off the mirror block as you can and then take your other one again without re-inking because that way they are the same tone and then you've got your birds facing the opposite way which it's just really really fun are they like jelly plates no they're not um jelly plates now i'm going to get my jelly plate out this is actually the first time it's something i've had now for ages um and i'm too um, i've got to be honest i'm too afraid to use it um but with your jelly plate it's you can see it's really jelly and flexible okay um and this is better designed for your paints and whatever i wouldn't i wouldn't use your paints on your mirror block they are really just for ink but your jelly plate is more for paints and in in that sort of thing so they're not the same thing um because the mirror blocks are just for stamping on and to get that really clean image and you won't get the same sort of result with a jelly plate okay um now one of the other things I like to do with my jelly plates is what I refer to is so this is going to be mainly technique I'm not really going to finish anything off today sorry um, is what I refer to as kiss stamping which sounds very nice and lovely doesn't it um, now what oh, sorry so I'm just gonna clean that up because otherwise I'll come back to it and use it and I won't be able to get that ink off right so yeah so like I say I've used Versify because it's a nice new ink pad that's really really wet um but the best thing the best thing in my experience is versaclair okay 
but um, getting supplies of everything at the minute is not massively easy. Um, so it's just using what you have. Now, like I say, on here, there are other shapes. Okay. So I'm going to get this little... Let me put that back over there. Um, this little oval one, which again... That's big enough for doing that bird, really. But it's quite tight, and I want to make sure I have the space. But if you're doing something smaller, I would say use the smallest mirror block that you think you can, because it's just easier to control. Okay? But with these, if you like creating um, backgrounds using different shapes, um, and what have you, these are really, really cool. Um, actually, I'm just going to grab... Hang on, I'm going to draw an emo. On my Facebook Live I do on Tuesdays, um, I did a journal page. Um, I did this journal page, an actual fact. Um, and I used the mirror blocks to create like these circles and ovals and things. So they're just a really great way of adding in layers and texture for your journaling and card making as well. Okay, so... <laughs> All I do with these, I'm just going to grab, sorry, reaching over. Um, they are not the inks I want to use. But what do I want to use? <laughs> I want something pale and something dark so you can see the differences. Here we go, those two. All right. So, when you can use these to create backgrounds, okay? So, so like I say, these are ideal with ink. So you can ink up with, for example, your Distress or Distress Oxide or whichever, really. Okay? And you can, because it's quite a big... Thing. if your ink pad is slightly older or slightly overworked <laughs> like mine are you know you can put them straight on okay or you can also mist them to get a sort of watercolor block and you can mix and match them up yeah you can see i didn't press on perfectly for that one but you can see you can you get the gist to get those sort of shapes that you want to work on okay but another thing you can do which is the kiss stamping i was talking about i'm just gonna move that to the side is <clears throat> use them with your background stamps okay do you know what i'm just gonna no i'm not i'm gonna grab another one of these what we're gonna do just wipe that off is we're gonna ink it up we're going to need a background stamp for this. So I've got my script one just because I think it shows up really, really well. I'm just going to put that on there. So we're going to ink this up with our mustard seed, just like we did with the Mermaid Lagoon before. Like you would ink up any stamp. So, okay, so you can ink it up like that. Press it down. I'll press it all the way to the middle this time. And you've got your, your funky oval that you can then layer up on journals or cards. <coughs> Sorry. I did have a drink. I don't know where I put it. There it is. Um, you know, so you can layer up onto your cards and just to create sort of basic shapes. If you prefer to stamp instead of blender, etc. Okay. But what you can also do is you're going to ink up with our mustard seed on here and we're going to ink up our mermaid lagoon on our script stamp okay and then we're going to stamp our mirror block onto there and then stamp our mirror block onto our card and it means you've instantly got that sort of kiss stamping. Okay. 
but what but what it means is as well i'm just going to breathe on it you've also got the different texture and in color where the colors have blended on there so there's also that one which is fab love the color of mustard me too sylvia I have mustard coloured cushion. What? That didn't make sense. Mustard coloured cushions in my living room. Okay. But you don't have to use a secondary colour at all if you don't want to. Because for the kiss stamping. And obviously you can use any of your background stamps for this. Um I really like using the crackle as well. That's a fun one. This is just fun. This is just playing right so i'm going to clean all the ink i can off off that and then <clears throat> oh not my birds so what i'll do is i'll go with the mustard the mermaid lagoon for this one okay so we'll ink ink our stamp and again you want plenty of ink because you're doing things to it so it's going to need to last and if you are worried about it drying out between here and there and here again just breathe on it a couple of times Huff your breath, as the kids say in the winter. I can huff my breath. Right, so we'll go from there. And again, we're going to stamp it onto our background stamp. But there's no ink on the background stamp this time. And then you've sort of got a white out. So it's created a pattern. And again... If you just wanted that shape in just the script you've then got that as well so this is this is almost like a secondary technique state technique i need to put my teeth in don't i i'm so sorry hi kim so this is almost a secondary technique for using your mirror blocks because you know what they're actually for is mirroring your stamps okay but i have this theory on cra I have lots of theories, but in terms of craft product, um, if it can only do one thing, it's expensive. Even if it's only a pound, if it can only do one thing, I think it's expensive because in your craft stash, you want tools, you want things you can do things with and use again and again and create different sort of effects with, which is why I love stamps so much because you know you can stamp them with regular ink you can watercolor them you can heat emboss them you can you know stamp them into tissue paper you can stamp them onto fabrics you, you know they're just a really useful thing um which i love so for me finding something else to another technique to do with the mirror blocks was not only really important it was absolutely necessary um because you want to be able to do as many things as you can with your mirror blocks okay so this is where the shape ones really sort of come in to their own um so yeah i mean it's, it's one of those things it's just you know obviously you can use your mirror blocks with any of your stamps any of your stamps that have sort of like a direction you can then use them provided they fit on it, obviously um you can then use them to create these sort of mirrors and mirror effect so it's just another way just another way it's something else you can do with these stamps so the reason i actually will be bringing out a bigger one is because i wanted to do some seahorse facing the other way it was one of you know so the it's but you know there is some i'm really struggling with my words i am so sorry you know but there is some um a, quite a big one in there and these little ones are great for the birds and the butterflies and all that sort of thing um but i mean they're just doing things like this is fun and like i say you can add them on to your journal pages in mixed media or if you like to stamp on tissue paper and rice paper to to layer onto things you know that's really nice as well um so you know it's just I really want you guys to be having fun with what you're doing at home. Um, so when Deacon asked about doing the mirror blocks for you today, I was like, absolutely, no problem at all. So before I go, shall I do another? Shall I do another mirror for anyone that's joined in recently? 
Okay. So I will get we'll get the swallow again because I thought I think he looked rather lovely. So I'm just gonna go back to this size. Okay. I'm gonna put that one on there. And again, I'm gonna rotate the cardstock. Always rotate your cardstock rather than try and rotate yourself. You'll do yourself a mischief. And we don't want that. Okay. So if you have joined recently we're using the mirror blocks to create a mirror effect with your directional stamps okay now the best thing to use with your mirror block best ink sorry is in my opinion the versifying clair um which are really difficult to get hold of at the minute but also i've lost mine so that was yeah not possible for me to show you the versifying clair because I don't know where mine is. Um, and I have looked, I promise. I have looked everywhere, in actual fact. Well, obviously not everywhere, because I haven't found it. But you know what I mean. Right. Sorry, I'm just going to transfer my mirror block to here. So I can put the stamp on here. Um, so, But I am lucky because I've got a new, as in really new, it's only about a week, a week or so old, versified. So it's really, really wet and juicy, which is exactly what you need for doing your mirror blocks okay so what we're going to do is we're going to ink up our image okay so you want to put a lot of ink on there you know and this is something we always tell you as stampers you know not to do don't over ink your stamp because it you know it can flood the details and the etches and whatever but that's okay so we're going to really get some ink on there <clears throat> and then onto our mirror block And then straight over onto our card. You do want to be quite quick, okay? And we're going to push that down. Now, because this is a second generation of stamp, it is going to be slightly paler in terms of tone. So we're not going to re-ink our first stamp because that way it will match up tonally much better with your second generation stamp. And it's just fun. It is just so much fun. Sorry, I'm trying to look. Yeah. And it's just lovely. What size is the, the rectangle? Okay, so the little rectangle I've got here. Oh, check me out. I've actually got a ruler. Right. <clears throat> so this is the smallest of the rectangles. And that is approximately 10 and a half centimetres by five and a half or if you prefer inches you're looking at just over four to about two and a quarter okay um so just to give you an idea the biggest the biggest rectangle is in centimeters just over 13 by about 8.8 and in inches you're looking at about hmm, five and a quarter ish by just under three and a half you know so it, so it is quite big the only reason sammy the seahorse will not fit on is that top sprig coming out of his mane it's the only reason um but you know so it will fit a lot for example i've got a bigger one of these birds here we go yeah so i have a i have a big version um of that bird and he does fit on the big block okay um Shall we do a big one? I really feel like I'm pushing the boundaries of my versifying now. I can't lie. But let me get a bit of card. Right. Am I going to fit that on both ways? Yeah, just about. Right. 
so let's have a go with the bigger one. Just so you, just so you can see. Do, do, do. So clean that one off. I've got to say, a lot of you guys, I can almost hear you. Like, oh my God, she's cleaning her stamps. Just relax, it's only the mirror blocks. And as you can see, I don't always do that either. But I do use the bird a lot. <laughs> um, he just looks so lovely when he's made to face both directions. That's why I like him. Right. So. Go big. Go big. Right, so using the Versafine again, we'll go over this one. Now, obviously, bigger stamp, you almost want to work even quicker because there's more ink, bigger surface area. Okay, so we're just going to ink this up. And then stamp onto here. Just giving it a really good push. You can use these with a um, stamping platform. Um, but I am rubbish with a stamping platform. Okay. So. But you can do. Okay. So you can see. Obviously didn't ink up that side of him right at all. But again, it's just, again, I still use the second generation so that they match tonally. You can re-ink him and have this one darker if you want. I mean, obviously, that's absolutely fine. But you can, but I just like to do it the same because then it really does match and it looks like a mirror. But if you were doing ones where, for example, say you were doing above and below the water. Okay, so then, then you would want to re-ink, I think. All right, so if you were doing, let me just clean this off. Why don't you clean your stamps? Because I'm rubbish, Deborah. Um, in all honesty, I am a firm believer in that um, the more you ink, provided you're using a water-based ink and it's not something that's going to damage your stamp, um, the more you ink a stamp, the better off it is. It works better. You know, that's why on the back of our stamps, like we say about priming it, the more ink that's on it, in my opinion, the better it works. Um, so I actually only clean my stamps, like, and I mean clean, warm, soapy water clean, with um, when they stop sticking to the block. That's when I stop. Start cleaning my stamps. Outside of the realms of that? No, not really. Right. So if you were going to do... For example, a water scene where it's the mirror in water. The mirror is the water one. That's the one you'd want to be paler. Okay. So this would probably be the only time I would re-ink the other side. So right, let's just ink this up again. I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna ink. There. I'm going to go this way. Okay, so this would be the one below the water. Well, that's not going to work at all. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So, and then. I would ink up the one sort of above the water line. And that way, that one. Would be much darker. Okay, but you see the difference if you re-ink. You know, the, that one does end up, in, in the tone really seems different. Whereas if you just do second generation, they all come out the same sort of tone and it matches perfectly so those so yeah basically where's the other one? Oh, there it is so those are 
you can mark this day down in crafting history. Bear of the tongs, not using a white pen. Can I also say as well, I didn't put distress ink onto my mat and either paint with it or make a mess with it either. So, you know, it is, it's a strange old day. Okay, but with the, exactly, the pale stuff is a reflection. Um, so if you've got any other questions about the mirror blocks, please let me know um, and I'll see what I can do. I think I've covered covered most most here. Um, you can always send me a message as well. That's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they're really, really cool. And if you do have a go with the mirror blocks, please, please show me what you make because we really love to see it, basically. Um, so thank you very much for joining me, guys. Um, happy Friday. I do hope you have that Friday feeling, even though, you know, the days are just are what they are at the minute. We can still have a bit of Friday feeling, you know, maybe get to some Friday shenanigating. Don't know what that'll be. Most likely just to sit down. Um, yeah. So thank you very much. If you have any questions at all or you need any other help or you want Tracy to, to set me a ridiculous challenge that you're sure I can't do, let her know. Uh, <laughs> and um yeah thank you for getting for, 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 for staying with me let me just lift you down and i'll give you one more look at those before i go all right guys thank you